Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Greg Tech New Horizons. We have done a little bit since last episode, not too much, continuing to work on the breeding situation, trying to get uh, crossbred black stone lilies. And that hasn't happened yet, that looks like another nether. And what is this, eye stalks, I think, or what are eye bulbs? I can't remember what they're called. But regardless, uh, I know it has been a little while since the last episode, and I just wanted to kind of update you all on the state of the channel and whatnot. Because I know sometimes it can be a little confusing to see videos coming out pretty much every day, and then all of a sudden they're coming out only like two to three a week. So uh, the short of it is that I had a period where I was both obsessed with GTNH and I had the uh, the extra time to record more videos. So when you combine those two things, you get Crydax releasing a video every day. Right now, I am less obsessed. I'm still having fun, but I wouldn't say I'm thinking about it all the time. I think I've already mentioned that. And second is just that I haven't had as much time. With summer, there's a lot of family uh, stuff going on and I'm trying to prioritize family right now. So that just means a little bit less time for recording. However, I am going to continue recording and we will keep going with GTNH until uh, I decide we're done with GTNH. I'm hoping we can get to the moon. That's still the plan. We'll see if we can get that far. Um, but yeah, uh, exciting news in the world of factory games. If you don't uh, already know, the release date for Satisfactory 1.0, the full release, and the Factorio expansion have both been announced. And that's really exciting news for me. Factorio is probably the GOAT for me of all time. The 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 GOAT of all time. Yeah, that's what I just said. You heard me. Um, but yeah, I, I absolutely love Factorio. And so you'll see me playing that definitely on release day and Satisfactory 1.0 as well. Uh, Satisfactory 1.0 releases on... Oh, shoot. Now I'm going to forget. Also, I'm just kind of trying to make more silicon here. Um, what do we have to smelt this with? I've already forgotten. Oh yeah, these go with the bulls. Right. Okay, I might as well make these now. Um, I have enough for four. But yeah, so the release date for... Uh, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Never mind. Satisfactory is September 9th. No, September 10th. And Factorio is October 21st, I think. Somewhere around there. So they're about a, a month and a half apart, which is super nice. So that'll give me time to beat Satisfactory 1.0 before Factorio comes out. But uh, I will just say, if I am still playing Greg Tech at that point, it will definitely be done uh, by then because I will definitely not have the capacity mentally to handle Greg Tech New Horizons and Satisfactory or Factorio at the same time. So it kind of, at least the current video production uh, schedule looks like GTNH uh, for now, and then around September 10th, we got Satisfactory 1.0, and then around October 21st, we got Factorio 2.0, also called Space Age. So, pretty excited about those things. Um, I know many of you are as well. Some of you are just Minecraft uh, heads and you're not into those other factory games. I understand that, and if you don't want to watch me do those other videos, that's fine, but that is what I will be doing. So I made a little bit of a to-do list to help keep my head on straight for this episode. What we want to do is mess with logistics pipes. We started that in the last episode and we ran up against a couple walls that we started working on, like this carbon mesh stuff. I'm working on breeding the black stone lilies. I want to make an MV bender that's used for the dense obsidian plates and a couple other things. I would like to get the electrical steel and conductive iron. Maybe that's what I'll do first, because that unlocks the uh, Ender IO quest corner up here. So I want to get that going as well. And we've already made some electrical steel. I just must not have held it. So that's easy enough. In fact, did I leave a bunch somewhere? Uh, it seems like I didn't. I felt like I remembered making a lot of this. Oh, I did. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Okay, let's make uh, 16 of that. Which, unfortunately, is going to require me to have this guy do something else. This was just all my kind of random, you know, alloys that I was working through. 
These EBFs are pretty slow, but they're running and we've got plenty of power. We will run out of oxygen at some point, which is, I might have to work on a better oxygen solution. But yeah, I have plenty of polyethylene. Just wanna make sure this is all still running properly. Uh, it's not. Oh, it looks like we're oxygen limited right now. Okay, that's good to know. Lots of clay dust, and I guess I'll keep collecting this for my Illumina. And then I want to say we need to go grab some nickel. I was looking around at stuff last episode, and I'm pretty short on nickel. Which we need for Cupro Nickel, which shows up in the MV motors, which show up in pretty much everything. So, let's actually do that first. Let's head to the Twilight Forest, go grab our nickel mine, and then we shall be back. All right, wow. I was worried about the diamond chest, but it seems to have managed to hold on to everything. But I wasn't wrong, it it, uh, it did fill up pretty full. And it looks like we're all done here, so we can take our, take our diesel back here. Um, I need a few more of the universals, so they all stack. There we go. And I should just be able to pick this stuff up. I don't know why I'm jumping down there. Ah! Hit my head. Should probably seal that up with something. Just so I don't randomly fall down there someday. What do we get? Lots of nickel ore. That's really good. Um, we were talking about this before, but we get the platinum metallic powder dust from the chemical bath. And so that's going to be probably our main way to get platinum for a while. Um, I guess we could go this route, but that's worse, right? Yeah, 70% there. So this is definitely the route, the best route for platinum for now. Uh, we can also get the small piles from a few things. Uh, but for now, the big piles only come from this. And where did the, the small piles came from? It's interesting, it's not showing me here. Maybe it was the tiny piles. Huh. It's not showing up on any of these. Where are you? Hmm, what was it? Is it macerator? No, this is all the same stuff. Uh, centrifuge. Endstone dust. Now there's an interesting... Uh, that's very interesting. So once we've gone to the end, we can get uh, yellow stone lilies and get infinite uh, platinum from that. That's one way to do it, at least. That's worth remembering. But there is another way that I'm trying to remember to get platinum somehow. That wasn't just nickel. And it made small or tiny piles. Hmm, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills now. Was it just the nickel? Was that the only way? Am I, am I making this up? I don't know. Maybe I'm making this up. Regardless, we need to grab this thing and fly home. Oh, nope, we have other things to do first. We need to uh, take, what am I doing? Take off the chunk loading. And then I need to take off the waypoint. And then I need to decide if I want to mine anything else nearby. Um, and we need to mark that as depleted. I could do an iron, a sapphire, a gold, a diamond. Diamonds are nice, but I don't really need them right now. Hmm. 
Didn't I mine this one? I think that one's gone. Let me double check. It's right here. But I thought this one, if it's not fully depleted, it's at least semi-depleted. Yeah. Yeah. That one is depleted. Okay. Um... Because it actually would be nice to have another cryolite. Should I fly over to that one? Why is that? I guess I found some random ones, yeah, just by smacking a rock when I was underground. Um, there's one up there too. Yeah, I'm gonna fly over to that cryolite vein and we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. Because I still am gonna be making a lot of aluminum using alumina which needs the cryolite or at least it does it MV there might be a way at HV to just make alumina into aluminum let's double check that alumina dust yeah once we have canthal we can use carbon instead but there's not much of a bonus I guess it goes slightly faster so I guess that's a bonus and we get CO2 out, which we could recycle. I assume that just electrolyzes back. Yeah, not very efficient. So I don't know if that's worth it. Probably easier to just burn it or void it or whatever. Um, and then what's this? Oh, that's something else. Okay, yeah, for now we'll just keep using cryolite. And that should do it. All right, so now we've got another cryolite vein getting dredged up here. And we shall fly home. And we are home. More dolly fulls of... <laughs> I have so many. I need to clean all this up someday. Oh my gosh. There's so much crap in here. I can't handle it all. Um... For now, let's see, Garnierite. Wow, we can get a lot of extra nickel if we were to use sodium persulfate. How easy is it to mass produce this stuff? Am I missing something? There's no way to make this with fluids? What? What? We have to electrolyze it. Really interesting. I assumed there was a way to make this with fluids. There doesn't seem to be. Huh. Um, weird. Okay, so we have to make sodium bisulfate, which is made Probably with salt, that's the easiest thing for me to get. Salt and sulfuric acid. Which then I get hydrochloric back. And then what can I do with that? So we're basically pulling... What the heck are we doing here? Sulfuric is... SO3 plus water. Are we losing the sulfur? We are losing the sulfur. Hmm. That's the problem. So we can't recycle this into more sulfuric acid. So basically we're, we're spending some amount of sulfur and salt. The chlorine we get back. This is so confusing. And why do we only get 1,000 of this? Because if there's two units of NaCl, shouldn't we have two units of chlorine? So shouldn't this be 2,000 hydrochloric? I feel like our conservation of mass is not uh, happening here. I think a chlorine unit is going missing in the process. Um, But yeah, I don't have enough sulfuric to want to deal with this right now. So I'm not gonna. Oh, we have a bunch of cobaltite too. I forgot that came from this vein. 
So we have all the cobalt we want. Pentlandite. Uh, I don't really think we need to do anything different with it. We could get some iron or something, but let's just more nickel, more nickel. That should be all the nickel we need for a while. And this should get us a bunch of platinum. It's actually quite a lot. Each of these gives me 1.4 platinum metallic powder times two. So 2.8. Am I reading that right? I think so. Yeah. 2.8 per nickel ore. That's like a bunch of stacks of this platinum metallic powder. And then I want to say we smelt this into nuggets. Yeah, three to two. And once I have canthal. And then once I have platinum nuggets, I can make stuff out of platinum. Not that I don't think it makes good tools, so I don't really know what we would make out of platinum, but I'm sure we'll need it soon. The wires are IV voltage. That's pretty insane. <laughs> Get it? Insane voltage. Uh, I think that's what IV stands for anyway. <laughs> I don't I don't actually know all the, the prefixes super well. There's LV, low voltage, MV, medium voltage, HV, high voltage. I think next is EV, extreme voltage, and then IV, insane voltage. I think that's how it goes anyway. Um, oh my god. Someday I'll clean all this up. Or maybe I never will, who knows. Maybe I'll just put it off until we're done with GTNH. <laughs> you never know. All right, back to the to-do list. What did we just do? We did none of these. Wonderful. I should have the electrical steel though. Yeah. Oh, we have a bunch, okay, cool. And put all that back in there. You can keep doing your thing. And that should get the electrical steel. And then we need conductive iron. Conductive iron comes from more EBFing. And it's just iron, silver, and redstone alloy. Okay, so... Take some of this. Oops. I don't know. 16? That feels fine. Iron and silver dust. Silver's next to gold. Of course, I just filled this up, so... I feel like every time I do uh, some sort of project where I need, you know, the steam grinder or, like, a forge hammer, as soon as I get to the part where I need it, I just five minutes ago put like 50 stacks of some other thing to process it's just just my luck but this should go pretty fast i think yeah eight seconds okay let's check on our plants what do we got what do we got uh that's not blackstone lily that's not blackstone lily shoot did i do that right yeah. None of you are Blackstone Lily. Sad. Get rid of the eye bulbs. Get rid of the seeds. Replant the crop sticks. I was. Oh, yeah, I put some cold coke blocks in there. Those will last forever. And we still got a few weed axes left. We should be good on that. And back this way. Put all the grinding stuff back in. Grab our mixins. And there we go, conductive iron. I'm just gonna guess it's on one. Nope, two. Yeah. Don't ask me why. Okay, I was about to throw that away, but I guess I'll keep it just in case. Um, I have a lot of random dusts in here too. Sodium, more cobaltite, apatite. This is arsenic, alumina, cryolite, and lithium, I think. Or gallium. Do I have lithium? 
I might have, yeah, I've got some in there. But I'll keep it in the regular. Well, lithium is a metal. Do I have a metals dust? Yeah, this is for metals up here. I forgot about this one. Oh, there's electrical steel dust. You goober. Nope, that's what I already found. Double double goober. Nice, Kydex. Nice. Okay. Sometimes we're just not firing on all cylinders. Guess today is one of those days. All right, give me that back. Conductive iron, please. And thank you. An Enderman. Where are you at, my friend? These are still running. That's good. Whoa, they haven't even finished the blocks of coal. Oh, they're all in that one. Okay, these are on to regular logs. Definitely have plenty of creosote. Creosote. Did I hear an Enderman? How did he get in here? I don't see an Enderman. Hmm. Wonder where you are, my friend. Oh well. Not the problem right now. Oh, maybe he's upstairs? Oh yeah, I, I walled that off. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, what is going on up here? It's a tiny man. That's what's going on. Making Enderman noises. Okay, so I'll put away that stuff and now we've got that done. I need to start thinking about Ruby Dust um, because that's what gets us chrome, which gets us stainless steel. So that's kind of a longer term goal, but that is in the back of my head for sure. I don't even know why I'm doing all this, but I guess it's dark steel pipes. Whoa, that's a lot of fluid capacity. Huh? Interesting. I mean, we've already made quite a bit of dark steel. It's pretty easy, actually. It's mostly coal and obsidian. Um, so dark steel is relatively cheap, believe it or not. I also could make a MV scanner, which could be nice. It's actually a decent reward. Two circuits. It only costs two circuits. I get half of the cost of this thing back. I just need a single sulfuric acid to make one which I don't think I've made any sulfuric acid yet, unfortunately. All right, let's make that MV bender. Yeah, I think I put it over here. Two pistons. And bada bing, bada boom. Nice. Ta-da. MV bending. Sweet. Why did I just now get a spade? What the heck? What on earth? What? There's no way. I'm super confused. Oh, you know what? Ha! Huh. That is hilarious. This is one of the luckiest coincidences. So you do need an MV bender to make the spade because to make these dense steel plates, you need an MV bender on nine steel ingots. So this is, you know, very dense steel. And I just happened to make one while I was holding my spade, and this happens to give me a black stone lily seed. So, what a heckin' coincidence. Like, all of those things came together on my to-do list, the MV bender, while holding a spade and wanting black stone lilies, 
and I already had the spade. It just all worked out so perfectly. I got the spade from a, either a quest reward or a loot bag. I don't remember which. But I, that's just crazy how that all worked out. I am quite, uh, quite okay with that. So now I will... I guess I'll just put it... Which one has the highest stats? You have 11, 2? That's pretty good. Um, and 4, 3, or 6, 2. So I want to breed this one, or this one, with, uh... Yeah, I guess I'll just remove that. Put the Blackstone Lily there. And then we want to cross these two. That one is 301, that's pretty bad, and 431. Okay. So I will just remove these two. Sweet. Okay, we go. Another stone lily. White stone lily. Unknown seeds. What all's in here? Nether. 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 White. Rest is hemp, indigo, eye bulb, and flowering vines. I don't care about those. So we grab them and put them in there. I don't care about these seeds bucket, which is a large bucket. Now, Blackstone Lily is gonna need, um, what are you gonna need? Not that. Uh, Black Granite. Which I'm sure I have somewhere. Salt cobblestone or black granite cobblestone? Um, I'm not actually sure. Comes from macerating. Uh, black granite. Does it come from basalt as well? Or just the black granite. I guess I could do it this way. Oh no, basalt dust is a separate thing. Interesting. Does it have anything good in it? It's like calcite, CO2, magnesium, and iron, so not really anything that good. Okay. I think I need one of these. I'll just grab a stack to have in our little breeding area. And then this goes right there. Perfect. And then that should then grow all the way up. I also should have some fertilizer, but whatever. It'll grow eventually. Ditch the netherrack dust. How did I get marble dust? I don't care about that. Alright, there we go. Quest. I.O. I.O. It's off to render I.O. We go do 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 do. I'll take some more pulsating, because that is the most valuable. Actually, I guess it's not. I have like infinite ender pearl action going on right now. Ooh, that is a lot of dense steel. That represents 72 steel right there. Who would win? One MV loot bag, 72 steel, or one one looty boy? Oh, I get both. Yet again, I'm trying to pick between two options when I get both. That always feels really good when I realize that. <laughs> it's like, oh, I don't have to pick. How nice. Uh, where should I put it though? I guess it goes in here. And the MV bag gets stored for HV bag translation. And now I can make da -da -da, void upgrades, which is pretty nice. Because um, the dense obsidian plates need the MV bender. So that's the other main reason I made this. In fact, it might be the main reason I made this. Super chest. I don't care about super chests. But that is cool that I can make them. I did not know these existed. 
The super tanks are far more valuable, which are somewhere in here. That one? No, that one. Yeah, so I can make super tanks, I think. Um, it's four circuits, which is kind of costly. And these can auto void, which is also super nice. The problem is just that's a lot of circuits. I do have a lot of circuits, but where did I put all of them, by the way? Here they are. We finally have our four stacks, which is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at that. I hate when it doesn't quite sort right. You have to like open it and sort it twice. Okay, uh, yeah, we have a lot of LV circuits. MV circuits are almost gone. I still have 25 of these too. Wonderful. Okay, so next on the list, what do we got here? What do we got here? Beep, beep, beep. All right, um, mess with logistics pipes. Let's look at that for a minute. So in the last episode, we did... I actually didn't do any of it. We just started doing it. We were working on this... No, this, this recipe. Yeah. So I'm gonna need long aluminium rods. Let's do that first. Fluid solidifier, long rod mold. Is that worth it? I don't have a long rod mold. I might as well make one. I normally don't need enough long rods. I just have uh, traditionally smashed two rods together with a hammer because it's just as efficient but maybe maybe we go through the trouble to make a long rod mold here I grab this guy and then we run back pour some steel over him And we are good to go. Fluid solidifier, throw the mold in there. Fluid extract, you need a point to the right. And now we should just be able to throw aluminum in, aluminum, whatever we're calling it these days. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I think that'll just do it, yeah. Kinda slow. Slower than I thought, actually. Okay, so we got that, and now we need the reinforced glass plates, which needs the cutting machine on reinforced glass or molten reinforced glass, which can only be made by extracting reinforced glass. So never mind. Um, carbon plate plus glass, that's what it was. Or advanced alloy plus three glass. Did I did I know that I could do advanced alloy? I think I did, and I just thought carbon was cheaper. Compressor on carbon mesh, which is a similar on carbon fiber. Where is, I have three in my inventory, but where's the rest of it? Oh, the compressor, there we go. 32 sounds about right. I was doing the quest, that's what it was. Where's that, where's that little thing? There we go, that's what we were doing. And then I want the MV loot bag, thank you very much. And then, fish oil. I don't need that right now. Let's go back to logistics pipes. Okay, so we're making these guys. I need the carbon plates plus glass. Three glass per carbon plate. Where do I keep my glass? Here. I'm actually quite low on glass. How do I just make regular glass again? Just glass dust? Guess there's a lot of ways to do it. Um... I can just arc furnace. No, I can't. I need an MV arc furnace. 
Is that what I'm... I think I'm reading that properly? 85 times 3 is not 256, though. That's why I'm confused. Wait, 256? Where's that coming from? That's 2 amps of MV. What? What is, what is going on? I think I need an MV arc furnace, but I'm not totally understanding what's going on here. Because an LV arc furnace can't handle this. 3 amps of LV is 96. What do other arc furnaces look like? So everything that's LV uses at most a total of 90 or less. EU per tick. Okay. I see. So it uses three of that, but I'm still just weirded out that this isn't triple. It's off by one. Maybe that's 85.33333 then. Anyway, that was a nice little digression. Molten glass. Oh yeah, I can finally just do this. Oh, that feels so good. I forgot that we had unlocked the easiest way to make glass of all time. Can you reverse engineer that into glass dust? Um, Glass dust. I'm just curious, can you make glass dust from sand? Probably not, right? You can make glass dust from glass? Interesting. So, would that have been an easier way? Now, I'm, now I've got myself in a loop again. Because I've figured out so many ways to make Sio 2, and now we're finding another one. Because now I can do fluid extract, a sand, and then fluid solidify into glass, then macerate into glass dust, and now we have glass dust, which can be, I think, easily turned into Sio 2, right? Isn't there an easy way to do it? Yeah, you just centrifuge it real quick. It's like super cheap and fast. So maybe that's a better way for me to make Sio 2. Interesting, I completely forgot about this version. Uh, it's probably more power hungry to do it this way now that I think about it. Um. Yeah, 10,000 EU per. I think Blackstone Lilies is still a better bet. But this is a not, oh, what am I doing? Wait, is it making long glass rods? I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh well, uh, no, you just need to be making blocks, I guess. Where's our block mold? Uh-oh, where is the block mold? Where are you at? Are you all the way over by our steam machines? Actually, I have no idea where it is. Block, mold. Mold, block. You, where are you? There you are. Oh, you're in this fluid solidifier. Got it. Got it. There we go. Okay, that should work. Now we'll actually make uh, proper pieces of glass. Trash those. Work on glass for a bit. Cool. Wait, why did that not work? Um, what? did we do wrong here? What the heck? 
Molten glass, fluid solidifier, mold block. Uh oh. Auto output, fluid. Facing to the right. Oh, I faced, somehow I screwed that one up in the process. There we go. There we go. Okay. And now what do we do with these? Alloy smelt? I can't remember anymore. I think it was alloy smelt. Yeah. And it's ULV, so that means I should just be able to chuck them all in this guy. This alloy smelter has done some serious freaking work. Let me tell ya. I tell ya what. Also, I meant to mention this in the last episode. You may have noticed in the last episode, there was no music in the background. Um, I would love to hear y'all's thoughts on the music in the background. I like it sometimes and I don't like it other times. I'm kind of mixed, so I would be very curious to hear what you guys think. Leave a comment. Um, it's It can get a little repetitive to me. I, like, I like the music. I like the lo-fi, kind of low-wave vibes. Uh, it is a Spotify record label called uh, Low Wave Records, and they are royalty-free for streamers and content creators, which is obviously why I use them. Very nice. Um, and I have, there's like 10 hours of different stuff, but it all kind of blends together and feels pretty samey to me. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you guys like it or not. Uh, there's a part of me that kind of feels like maybe I should just play in silence. And there's a part of me that thinks maybe we should have the music going. Wait, why am I doing that? That's literally pointless. Right now there are only two squares that can cross. Although I should have left those there because they were already weed X'd. That was stupid of me. Oh well. So yeah, we're waiting for these to cross now. Cross, my pretties. Alright, electrical steel goes in the steel bucket. Is this... Am I making this only steel? Or is this like all the hard metals, like iron and steel? I think this is all the hard, hard metals. Like things you would make a hammer or a pickaxe or a screwdriver out of. Whereas this is like alloys and stuff. Random alloys and, and whatnot. But like stainless steel will go in here... Um, no. Stainless steel will go in here. I don't know. Maybe some of these should go up there. I just don't think I make enough of them to warrant that they belong on the full wall. Although I guess I have a bigger wall now than I used to. Maybe you don't need to earn a spot through trial and error. But you just deserve a spot if you exist. I don't know. Maybe I should just put all my medals on the wall. Okay, how are we doing, by the way? Nine blocks of coal coke. Uh, long term, we're going to use blocks of compressed charcoal. But since we still have a little bit more coal coke, I'll keep grabbing it. Yeah, but yeah, compressed charcoal is going to be the way forward for me. So we'll just keep compressing stuff. And watch. See, this was what I was talking about earlier in the episode. I'm going to need this compressor about five minutes from now. It's just how it always works. Somehow, I just always manage... To, to make it that way. Now the clay plates are for clay pipes and I don't, I know clay pipes go into like the MV fluid tanks, but I don't remember what else they're needed for. And yeah, fine gold wire. That's easy enough to do. Uh, let's just do eight stacks. That's pretty easy. Speaking of gold, I haven't checked on this in a while. How are we looking up here? Looking mighty fine. Is it all still working? It seems to be working. Although this feels lower than what I anticipated. Maybe that's because I grabbed a bunch a while back. That might be it. Do we have a bunch of gold down here too? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, I grabbed a bunch. Okay, that makes me feel better. I could line the streets with gold at this point. Maybe I should. That would look nice. I kind of want like a golden lantern for lighting. Oh, look, fancy lantern. I don't know if I like the way that looks, though, to be honest. This one looks better. Annoying as heck to craft, but I can do that. Maybe I'll use some of those. I don't know. That's not quite what I was thinking when I said that. Maybe more like this. Circuit. What the heck is this nonsense? You need me to use a laser engraver on red alloy foil and mix that with stone plates? What a weird, low-tech, but annoyingly high-tech recipe. Welcome to Greg Tech New Horizons. <laughs> uh, got all that kind of stuff in spades. Reinforced glass plates. Okay, let me grab the glass. We'll take that over. Oh, and long rods. Okay. So it's long aluminum, plus fine gold. My intuition says I grabbed the correct number, but I'm not sure. And now we need a cutting machine. I guess I'll use the MV one. Why not? It's here. And those cut into how many? Two a piece. Because it was two... I already forgot. Two, four, sixteen. So one to eight. Oh, I did get it right. Look at that. Look at that, look at that. I did something right. Okay, and then these guys go back over there. Two, four, eight, was it? 2416? 2416. So I need four of these, and then that'll make one stack of unrouted transport pipes. And then we'll use those to make the basic logistics pipes with, well, we don't have HV circuits. So instead we'll use two MV circuits, and we use this recipe. The other option would be to use LV circuits but we would need twice as many LV circuits and twice as much of this other stuff. Interesting, I don't think that's worth it because the MV circuits are basically just two LV circuits now. I'm trying to remember all of that nonsense. We need to make this kind if we're upgrading to HV but if I just need regular MV circuits, I can make this kind. Which is just diodes, copper, good boards. <sighs> which brings us back to sodium persulfate, doesn't it? Maybe I'll just do iron three chloride and call it a day. Ugh, so many things to work on. Ah! Have we crossed yet? Nope. Sometimes this happens really fast, other times it takes forever. It, the variance is very large. Very large indeed. Alright, you go in here. Boom. Channel. Channel 18. That feels very, very arbitrary and random to me. 18. Why channel 18? So what's up with the color change? What did I do to my... Is it these? Are these breaking everything? Oh my gosh. Oh dear. Maybe I shouldn't use this mod. They break everything. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Glitchy, 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 glitchy. Oh boy. That's a mess. Um, I don't love that. How are none of these chests empty? It just feels wrong. Alright, maybe I'll drop a new one for 
transport pipe stuff. Oh my gosh. What is up with that? That's terrible. Oh, it's related to the goggles mod. Or whatever it's called. Uh, these things. Hollow glasses. So somehow hollow glasses does not play nice with uh, transport pipes. Weird. Okay, so I got that quest done. Gives me an LV loot bag. And then we need some basic logistics pipes. Which we said was this recipe. Oh, I was still... Did I ever make one of these? Someone also told me about insulated redstone conduits. Yeah, we need... Oh, God. I don't have a chemical bath, do I? Well, someday I'll make these insulated redstone conduits. And these you can connect. Kind of like I was trying to over here where it like only connects down. Um, you can do it with those. So that's the plan eventually. For now, I am not going to worry about it. Just pop open that uh, bag of air, apparently. Oh, nope, just kidding. Had a dark woods happen. Um, that with the other one. Okay, so I need small gold gears, diamond rods. Uh, what's the easiest way to do diamond rods? I guess the only way to do diamond rods is lathing diamonds. Okay. Oh my. It is a long process too. Yikes. We better get started on that yesterday. Okay. And I don't have an LV lathe. Or uh, MV lathe is what I meant to say. I don't think, right? No. No, we don't. So that cannot be faster. We will simply have to wait. I'm thinking this is going to be enough uh, unrouted transport pipes to last for a while. Oh my gosh, what is wrong? No, see, look, I don't even have the hollow glasses turned on right now and it's still glitchy AF. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, hopefully that's fixed in the in the next patch. I think oh, I do think people are aware of it. Uh, cuz it's actually somewhat related to the other issue I was having. What's the steel? Okay, I can make all this stuff so far. Logistics power junction. I see fluid storage. Huh. Item sync module. I'm excited to try all this out. It's it's really weird stuff. But given that we can make it and we are ages away from applied energistics, this might just be the way to do it. Logistics chassis mark one. So I do need redstone alloy. That's kind of the The most advanced thing we've needed so far But we are making a bunch right I don't know what it's currently working on dark steel uh, But yes, we have a bunch on the way uh, Okay, so I need two. Uh, Maybe I just use LV circuits instead. It's more expensive for the other things, though. Okay, new plan. Make some MV circuits. Let's make a stack. Oh, this is scary. Uh, maybe I should have made eight stacks of LV circuits. Dear goodness. Um, gold is free. So I actually kind of don't care. So I need some phenolic boards or phenolic or I don't know how you say that. And then we need glue and wood pulp, which is really easy. Okay. Do I have a bunch left over actually from something? Uh, not really. No, 
No, no, no. Okay. Uh, so I'll take some gold. You go to channel 16. There's some gold wire. Um, then I need some sawdust. No, wood pulp. Easiest way to do that is this and this. Boom, wood pulp for days. Is it like six a piece? Yeah. Six a piece. Oh my. Roasted nickel. So we got nickel for days. Oops. Put all that in here. Oh, antimony for days. That should be like about a billion soldering alloy. 11 stacks of antimony makes 110 stacks of soldering alloy, if I math correctly. And, okay, what do we need for, I'm trying to do too many things at once as usual, but what do I need for these MV circuits that I can actually make? Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Are you locked into the type that you're currently looking at? So, uh, I wish we had better words to explain this. I wish it had, I guess, tier and quality maybe is the two different words. So if we made the high quality LV circuits, does that mean we have to make the medium quality MV circuits? Um... No, no, this is, this allows for any LV. Okay, good. That's what I just wanted to make sure I didn't have to use the crappy LV circuits to make the crappy MV circuits. So all I need is diodes, copper wire, uh, soldering alloy, and good circuit boards. Okay, easy, easy. Uh, so we grab that wood pulp, pulpy pulpy in the assembler with glue, which is all over here. I still have a lot. And I mean, literally, like, I've done a, a decent amount of extracting of the, the, uh, not rubber trees, what are they called, the slime trees. But, like, I haven't really... I, I did one quest reward where I got 64 cells of glue. That, that's it. I haven't, I haven't turned it in a second time. And I'm at, uh... 200 hours played. And we've already got that uh, achievement unlocked. And I still haven't even done more than one of those quest rewards. So that just goes to show how much, uh, or how little glue we're using in this process. Are we on channel one? Yes, we are. I lucked out. Okay, so that's the good boards. Uh, this is gold wire. That two stacks is enough for divided by eight, one fourth of a stack. Uh, no, I need more than that. I need one more. Okay, so that's the good boards. And then I'm needing... Making half a stack. So I need a stack of diodes, a stack of copper wire, and a stack of circuits. Uh, I don't think I have any diodes left, right? And I know I've looked this up about a hundred times, but can I make SMD diodes yet? Probably not. No, we need platinum. And an envy assembler. Right. Okay, so if I had tantalum, that would be the way to get better better diode efficiency. So I do need some wafers. I think we are fresh out of wafer town, USA right now. So I need to make some more. Throw in the polysci on channel. What channel? What channel are we talking here? 
This one. Channel one. Alright. Boom. Boom, boom. Alright, so that's good to go. Uh, then we need... I'm doing too many things at once. Diodes. Copper. Copper wire? Somebody said copper wire. I think it was me. Uh, nobody knows for certain. But that'll be copper wire. Okay, circuit boards are happening. Diamond... Diamond rods are happening. Yeah, we're, we are doing too many things at once. I need some fine silver wire and small gold gears. Okay, one of those is very easy. The other one is also very easy, so that works out for me nicely. Because this is just that. That's the small gears. And then the fine silver wire is just this. Eight stacks? Nah, four stacks is fine. Okay, so now that's going. I have to wait for the copper wire to be done. I... Why do I have all this copper foil? I don't even remember. I think I doubled up what I was supposed to make when I did my big circuit project, and it's just left over. I think that's what's going on right now. Okay, there's the rest of the gold wire to go with the boards. Each set of eight will consume an entire stack of uh, where did the other two go the heck oh my when did I make all these holy crap I had almost a full stack of boards just waiting in here okay well that's a thing I guess cool um, yeah, there we go. 36. Nice. I guess I'll just make 36. It's a couple extra. That's fine. I will be short on... Oh gosh, there's too many recipes in here. There we go. Diodes. 36 is an extra four, so I need an extra eight circuits, eight copper wire, and eight diodes. Okay, stack plus eight. Boom. And then... Copper wire. Stack plus eight. And then... Diodes, which these are probably not done. Hey, why haven't you started? What? What? No. I need to be on channel two, dang it. I was looking, somehow I looked at the wrong recipe. Okay, well that is now. What is that, 10 minutes? No. Seven and a half minutes? Yeah. Don't think we have time for that in this episode. But on the plus side, we've gotten lots of random stuff done. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> okay, so let's look at our list of things we need to do for the next episode. We're still messing with logistics pipes, but we got um, Blackstone Lily accomplished. So that's pretty cool. And I do want to do ruby, dust, and stone lilies. But yes, we got another black stone lily. Sweet. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Is make another little incision underground here. So we can plop down another black granite. And we need to do this on this corner. And this way they'll grow fully. You get a better chance at retrieving seeds if you let it grow fully. So that's why I'm doing that. But yeah, we'll keep uh, working on crossbreeding those. Uh, we're going to call it an episode here, though. Let's add to our list H... No, we're not at HV circuits yet. Uh, what? Shoot. It will be the end of the episode here in a minute. <laughs> but I have to look at what it was that I was... Oh, yeah, yeah, the plastic boards. Okay, so sodium persulfate, I think, is one of the next kind of more tech things 
I want to work towards. So we'll put that here. Sodium persulfate. So that's on the list. As well as kind of the bigger arching, overarching thing of logistics pipes. But with that, we'll call it an episode. If you'd like to support the channel, please head over to patreon.com slash crydax. You get a special Discord color, uh, access to a special channel at certain tiers, which is pretty fun. And yeah, uh, you just get to rest easy knowing you are helping me survive while I make uh, content, which is really fun. But of course, my content will always be free for all. So no pressure with that. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the music. Again, I, I am very curious about that. And hopefully I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.